Superman, Lois Lane from the Daily Planet. We hear that Brainiac is attacking Cadmus. As you know, they've been openly collecting kryptonite, the one element that can weaken you. Do you have any comment on- Miss Lane, I'm not sure where you get your information. Surely the U.S. government ensures that any Cadmus base is working within legal limits. As for the kryptonite threat, it seems that our new generation of heroes has inherited our strengths, but not our weaknesses. The JLA and I will be working closely with them to contain any threat from Brainiac or anyone else. Brainiac, this is Superman. You know who I am, and you know I've defeated you before. But it's not just me standing against you now. It's an entire generation of heroes and villains. This can end peacefully if you simply withdraw from our solar system. I'm offering you this chance. I urge you to act on it. Now. Superman, if the Daily Planet could just get a word. Miss Lane, I'm afraid I can't comment on Oolong Island's involvement with the four horsemen that devastated Kandak. I'm sure our international tribunal and checkmate will soon get to the bottom of it. And the proper people will be called to account. Now, if you'll excuse me. Citizens of Smallville, this is Superman. Your town has been attacked by an exabyte virus and the entire area has been quarantined. Please do not panic. Help is on the way. We are working to reverse the effects of the virus and to restore order to your town. Please know, I am personally looking into what caused this event. And rest assured, I will see to it this never happens again. Superman to Star Labs. Hive is attacking both Star Labs and LexCorp's Exabyte Supply and taking them to the stadium. Your first priority is to defend yourselves. I'm sending in reinforcements to help. You're in good hands. Superman out. Unit unable to connect to Creator. Searching frequencies. Batman, this is Superman from the Watchtower with Martian Manhunter. We only see a single energy source matching the MK1 frequency, so the good news is that only one piece of Brother Eye is activated. The bad news is that energy is fluctuating wildly, and it looks like Brainiac. Batman, are you reading this? We're experiencing a lot of distortion on this line. I'm switching now. This is Superman. Listen carefully. Lex Luthor designed the OMAC virus with help from the U.S. government based on Brainiac's own technology. There's no telling how it will react with exabyte-given powers if you can even be infected. Hero, villain, it doesn't matter. Stay safe. Superman out. This is Superman. Kal-El. I'm using one of the fortress memory crystals from the main matrix. It's hard to believe this entire fortress grew from a single sunstone crystal, or that it now contains all that's left of the planet Krypton. But I do know I have to keep people like Lex Luthor from using my heritage as a weapon. I lost Krypton. I will never lose Earth. This is Kal-El on a memory crystal. I've been looking at the Phantom Zone projector. I think it's possible not only to create others, but to create some sort of remote network that would draw on an actual projector. But that has to be a last resort. The Phantom Zone. It's like a living death. This is Superman to City Hall staff and security. We are temporarily evacuating City Hall, so if you can hear my voice, clear the area now. If you cannot get to safety, either I or the Metropolis Science Police will find you. They are trained to rescue civilians in these situations. Stay hidden, stay calm, and the situation will be resolved shortly. This is Superman. Alan, Jay, are you there? I'm at the Watchtower with Martian Manhunter. The JSA proximity alarm has been triggered. We've been unable to raise Captain Marvel in Condock, and Power Girl is in Smallville dealing with the fallout from Luther's Doomsday Experiment. Do you need JLA backup? Please respond. If no response to this hail, I will send in reinforcements. Again, please respond. Superman to the Metropolis Police Department. The Flash is tracking down Grodd, backed by our new heroes. All citizens are at risk from Grodd's devolution and mind control technology, so clear the area if you can. Star Labs Metahuman Research Speed Test 1, recorded by Dr. Sarah Charles. Subject Superman. Superman, are you ready? When you are, Doctor. You all right?
right, Professor. Uh, we may need to uh, bolt that treadmill down more securely. Especially since you have the flash coming in here later and I... <laughs> I didn't even really get started. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm working with Superman. Just run the recorder, Jeanne. Superman, before we record the velocity of your super breath, let's do a little warm-up, okay? On my count. One, two, three. seem to have blown out a few of the back walls of your lab. Professor Emil doesn't look too pleased back there. Hope I didn't interrupt his experiments. Sorry about that, Professor. <laughs> we should probably reinforce these lab walls a bit before we try again. Let me just uh, get them back in place. Superman at the Watchtower contacting Strikers with urgent information from Star Labs. They've analyzed Grodd's failed primal mind control tech. It created a fatal feedback loop which may have affected Grodd himself. Get Grodd in deep psychic lockdown or activate the time stasis cell we developed for Vandal Savage. Otherwise, his mind could affect everyone at Strikers. Some of you may recognize me. They call me Superman. Before I return to the Watchtower, let me introduce my cousin, a member of the JSA who you may recognize as well. Power Girl! This is Power Girl. Kara, this is Kal-El. Lex Luthor is targeting Kryptonians for their DNA. He cornered Power Girl earlier at her MetaHuman rally at Metropolis University. This time, he may be after you. Be careful. I'm sending in our new allies as reinforcements. Superman out. Star Labs MetaHuman research arm, Super Hearing. Superman ready? Go. I hear, uh... Wait. Well, that can't be good. Is that... Luther? With... Metallo. And that's Black Adam. In Bialia, on the border of Kondok. It's Black Adam. Sorry, Professor. I need to alert the JSA. I'm not sure I should forgive you, Superman. I'm the one who broke the story about you in the Daily Planet. I even gave you your name. And you give your first interview to that, that schlub, Clark Kent? My apologies, Miss Lane. I'm here now. What would you like to ask me about? All right, then. But I'm warning you, I don't pull any punches. So, your powers. How do they work? And is there a Mrs. Superman? Uh, one question at a time, Miss Lane. Uh, may I call you Lois? My powers come from Earth's yellow sun. Its rays affect me differently, giving me super strength, flight, speed, and other powers like heat vision. You look human. Well, I assure you, uh, Lois, I'm a man, just not from Earth. And I'll do whatever it takes to keep this planet safe. I'm not sure I should forgive you, Superman. I'm the one who broke the story about you in the Daily Planet. I even gave you your name. And you give your first interview to that, that schlub, Clark Kent? My apologies, Miss Lane. I'm here now. What would you like to ask me about? All right, then. But I'm warning you, I don't pull any punches. So, your powers. How do they work? And is there a Mrs. Superman? Uh, one question at a time, Miss Lane. Uh, may I call you Lois? My powers come from Earth's yellow sun. Its rays affect me differently, giving me super strength, flight, speed, and other powers like heat vision. You look human. Well, I assure you, uh, Lois, I'm a man, just not from Earth. And I'll do whatever it takes to keep this planet safe. <laughs> 